Hey, this is Peachy. I Moose. This is Sudan. And we'd like to take a moment to thank our original launch site, Anchor.fm, who's helped to enrich this podcast in many ways. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Anchor.fm offers educational tools on how to get started in social media and has not only given our show, Stapled Together, several platforms to choose from for your listening enjoyment, but continues to offer helpful tips and avenues for growth along the way. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. With an easy, hassle-free method for uploading, you can add your podcast episodes to Anchor.fm's extensive library, available for listening on several popular streaming services, letting listeners choose a favorite platform. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what we're doing right now by reading this ad. Go to anchor.fm slash start to get started today. Step together podcast. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to another episode of the Staple Together podcast for the comic book release week of March 18th. 2020. I'm Peachy. I'm Who's. I'm Sudan. I burped when he said it. <laughs> so I had to burp away from the mic. Because I don't want to hear that later. Personally. Personally. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Great Sudan. starts to all of this season. I'm super excited. For real. <laughs> do, do you want to sing us a tune to get us started with our first segment no. of this show there? Staple no. Together <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> it's close. Yeah. Um, let's Maybe go an hour ago. Start off with the news. New news? New news for this week. No news is like good news is like bad news is like news. What have you got for us, Ooze? Um, so Netflix has uh, made this uh, streaming service so you can watch videos with your friends oh. and you can chat during the, vi- the movie and really? the TV shows that you're watching. Um, what is it called? I already forgot. Netflix Party. I already forgot. Um, but Netflix Party, so you can connect to anyone else who also owns a Net- Netflix account and watch at the same time instead of being like, okay, let's try and sync our videos, and it never works, yeah, ever. Right, right. You have to like pause at the right time for bathroom breaks. It's just not do you, uh, do you, can you use the same login as the, sa- as the person you're watching with. I doubt it. Because, <laughs> like, how, how many of these streaming services, the common joke is, you know, how many people are you use, are yes. using your password? At least for... ten. It's at least ten. <laughs> There's ten for, well, they've limited it. You know, you know, Disney Plus is ten, but that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah I, I think that's actually pretty awesome. I, that's Corona I, Flicks? For, yeah. It's, it's um, Corona and Chill. Actually, Corona Corona and chill. And chill. or quarantine and chill. Quarantine like and chill. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I don't think you want the Corona and chill. No. no, no, yeah. Quarantine and chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Yeah. Is it a uh, free? As long as you own a Netflix account, you can do it. Yeah. Super Must cool. Be subscribed. Yeah, but I thought it was it was interesting that like different companies are trying to like be like okay so you can't go see your friends and hang out but you can stay at home and still talk to them yeah stuff and i hope they keep it too because that's just something that i think that flicks has should have done for quite a while that and make a fucking excuse me playlist option so you can make a dang playlist well then the yeah it doesn't play all the way through yeah. I would I wouldn't mind a playlist. Yeah. But no, that's that's yeah. that's that is cool. 
That's so, all that I have. So if you both pass out, does it, like, detect you both passed out and go, are you still watching at the same time? Yeah, I mostly assume that's, like, screen sharing, basically. I think it says, are you guys still are you guys? Are you guys? <laughs> are you guys watching? still watching? Are you guys, are you guys still watching? Hey, all y'all. Hey, all y'all. It depends on what region you're in. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, it, it, y'all. It, it, it takes into account the local dialect, how, yeah. how you've yelled it. It's... Yeah. Hey, ma. <laughs> you watch at the Netflix. No. No, ma. <laughs> okay. But what did you have suit on? Yeah, what did you have for a suit on? This is the most riveting news in this time of of sadness. We jump back into the past with Archie oh. getting a collision crossover, which he's had so many recently. Yeah, for the sure. Or the B-52s. I almost said the new 52. Yeah, <laughs> new 52. He has new 52 on the, it's all on like the brain. It's all guitar playing Superman, Batman's on the drum, <laughs> Wonder Woman's <laughs> just the... <laughs> <Henry>. <laughs> No, um, he's crossed over with Predator twice, werewolves, yeah. he's just, they're yeah. moving Archie out of the realm of just the same thing. Yeah. And he's crossing into, um, and stopping a invasion mm. on the planet with none other than Flash, uh, Gordon. Oh, wow, Flash, Flash. Gordon and Archie. Uh. He's a savior of the universe. So, yeah, it's supposed to uh, hit comic shops, uh, according to Tulsa World. Huh. Article and point. Uh, it's coming in um, June, beginning of June, uh, as far as we know. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Ming the Merciless attempts a full scale invasion of the Earth. Awesome. <laughs> I dig it. It would be wow. a Riverdale. I dig it. <laughs> it's going to be written by Jeff Parker, who wrote the Archie Meets Batman 66. Oh, okay. So cool. He'll, he'll, he'll have fun with the campiness. Yeah, for um, sure. But yeah, that's awesome. That was that was my news. Although I was going to mention that also WrestleMania is still going to be going forward even this event, just without yeah. a crowd. Which may may you know raise the dramaticism of the event. Um, that's a, I, I think that might be the uh, it's something new for sure, and I think it might have a lot of people tuning in. They, they'll have to change their games. So they might they have to be a little bit more creative about hiding things, but. That's, I just wanted to like mention that because that's kind of a big seventy thousand people were we're going to be in there. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for me. Yeah. Wow. Um, good stuff though. Uh, my news today I got um, from an article. Pardon me. Uh, Comicbook.com article by Brandon Davis, and that says. Bloodshot's being released digitally amidst the coronavirus theater shutdown. Um, so it'll be available for electronic sale through, uh, f- excuse me, starting March 24th. Um, I know that it didn't have much big, uh, much of a chance at a run in the theaters, and now with you know all the shutdowns and everything, um, especially theaters not being able to show these movies, uh, Universal and a few other companies, Sony. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. A few of them have made the choice to to uh, put their movies out on demand, you know. And Frozen Two came out three months. Yeah, ago and stuff like yeah. That. The, yeah. There's a couple new ones. The Hunt, The Hunt is oh, up yeah. there. Um, but uh, yeah, just good craziness. It's just craziness around the world. But um, this says that the uh, movie will be available then on the twenty fourth. For purchase at the price of nineteen ninety nine, um, you know, and then you get to own that digital copy. Uh, the cool thing about uh, this is that I heard that a lot of the movies that are being released on video or video on demand are doing a twenty dollar rental price to s- still gain back revenue. Right, that makes know. sense. But it, it it does. It's not a terrible price, you know. It's a movie tickets minimum eight bucks. Right. You know. And At least you don't have to pay for to- that for the popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And in People the comfort of your popcorn? own. Home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, this the snack is the snack bar is usually really expensive. So I mean, like that's that's kind of the overhead there now is gone. So yeah. 
right? Yeah. That's, this is just an interesting situation that we're in. I wonder if that's what All Seas was live about earlier. They yeah, had the guy sure. from Bloodshot, the creator of Bloodshot, up Co-creator. there. They've been doing a lot of stuff yeah, with they, him lately. Yeah. But they had that one guy I hate, and <laughs> I had to shut off. <laughs> so. Um, the, uh, let's see. Was, excuse me. I'm sorry, I don't hate him, I dislike him. Hate's a strong word. The actual quote from Sony Pictures was, Sony Pictures is firmly committed to theatrical exhibition, and we support windowing. That is, of course, being able to do multiple things on a single screen, you know, since, of course, Sony has all types of electronic products, they're going to be on par with their customers wanting to do that, so, you know... Um, that's a big draw for some reason they, they figured to the audience um, and this is a unique and exceedingly rare circumstance where theaters have been required to close nationwide for the greater good and Bloodshot is abruptly unavailable in any medium. Audiences will now have the chance to own Bloodshot right away and see it at home where we're all spending more time we are confident that like other businesses hit hard by the virus movie theaters will bounce back strongly and we will be there to support them I wonder if you can use your movie passes that gets you, like, the free movies. In, uh, to... <laughs> right. <laughs> can I, can I use my card? How do I, how do I use that? Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's, it, this whole situation is very unprecedented. And, like, I, I, from the comic book fan's point, you know, I, I'm curious about Bloodshot. But it wasn't one that I was really, like, jumping at the bed to go see. Yeah. I, I'm going to go see it, and I'm really excited to see another company jumping into this movie realm that we've had DC f- trying and Marvel, you know, holding the majority hold on. Yeah. Right. It's cool to see, like, Valiant's coming in. The image is supposed to be coming in with Spawn and other stuff. And so I'm like... Only had Scott Pilgrim versus the world. That they did. We did. It you was know, a it's... really good movie. <laughs> You know, we can't rely on the, the, these awesome movies like Sonic the Hedgehog to carry the box I office don't know right what now. That is. But yeah. it's just, it's kind of just unprecedented. This, this is a weird situation. I'm glad they're doing one. Through yeah, the box, so. yeah. I, I love that the majority or the the big part of the entertainment industry realize how big they are to yeah. to people, especially when they have to be at home. You know, in in self. Confined quarantines, you know, you know, staying home to for the health of themselves and others, and you know, yeah, having that extra entertainment there is definitely. I think it's a great idea. I think it's an awesome idea. Although, I might maybe a little money grubbing at certain points, but eh, you know, it is what it is. You know, they they can't. They have to make their money back. They you know, they have to make revenue. So, don't hate it. It's a business. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, for sure. But I love that they're providing this stuff for us. Fast yes. the Furious Nine has been canned. No, it's, just... yeah. <laughs> it's the one with John Cena, right? That's the one that everyone wants to see. No, He's I'm, going on time. this this hit me hard with the Jurassic World Three Dominion was put on hiatus, and definitely that that hit hard. But yeah. I'm coping. They'll be fine. They'll cool. come back. For sure. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Oh, you should see the things I've seen. But I guess... It's on fire. (laughs) (laughs) I guess that does it for our uh, new segment of today's show. We go ahead and move into our comic book reviews for... Comic book! Comic book! Comic book! It's a comic book review. That's what it is. Do-do-do! New theme. <laughs> <laughs> I um, had three books. This nice. Um, Hold on, let me get your artists yeah, and your um. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> so I had Nightwing number seventy. Oh, you're on your um, own. Like I, that's why I'm doing it first, so I can remember. <laughs> um, continued writing by Dan Jurgens and art by Percy Benjamin. Um. It is leading into the Joker War. Do I need to pick it up? No. Okay. No. I'm curious about the Joker War because 
he's determined to end Batman to put an end to their yeah. to their in the Bat family. Yeah. 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 So I'm curious what's gonna happen. He's not a fan that there's the not wings everywhere. Really? He's like, You're not Nightwing. There's one Nightwing and you're not him. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that was the best part of the the book was Joker showing up. Nice. Um, also had DC Sun Killables number two, continued writing by Tom Taylor. Continue artwork by uh, I'm just, it said Const or Carl Carl Monstert 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 Monstert. Hmm. And colors by Rex Locus. I like the name Rex. That's a good name. That's a good one. Very, very Captain y. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I also had Justice League number 43 she with got Sudan. The ben Oliver cover. What? She got the Ben Oliver cover. I did. I did get the. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, for of the. Deceased. For it's... Deceased. It was the movie homage cover. It, it, right. it still, call, still call it the horror cover. Yeah, but it's, it's not, not. Full Metal Jacket is not a horror movie. No. Debate us. Please. Do it. I'm staring horror, at the do it. camera. Horror. Do it. There's not a camera. Do it. Mm. Do it. Debate us. D- deep debate. <laughs> d- 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 For sure. Um, Justice League number 43 continued writing by Robert Vendetti. Continued artwork by <laughs> Doug Monick. Mankey. Right? Thank you. I, I think it's Man and Mine and Mine. Mono? Monarchy? Mono? Continued colors by David Barron. I really don't like this cover. Can we talk about it for a second? Can we talk about where is. why? First of all, why is Wonder Woman's sword so small? Secondly, why, where is the That's hilt of the sword? It's not a dagger, it's a sword. She has oh, no, a sword. no, no, like the size of it. It's like a dagger. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a long dagger. And where is the hilt? Like the where what's that? that hilt? The cross hilt? It's a cross hilt sword, right? So where where is it? Where is it? Also, what's going on with her thumb? And Superman's and holding Superman's hand. I hate this cover. Like wait, I kept looking at it. Yeah, wait. Where's that other hand? Com- wait. Okay. Yeah. No. That. Yeah. No. But the thumb. The thumb's what's really bothering me about that. Look at this cover, people. Please <sighs> look at it. it. It bothers me so bad. But yeah, it's it's definitely not as bad as that Shazam cover or this Flash cover. <laughs> My boy, he, it's so bad. It is. It's, it's terrible. Green Lantern I looks feel asleep. Like... Yeah, no. Batman looks depressed. It, the Batman is depressed. It's Barry Allen's dead. Yeah, I mean we are <laughs> talked accurate. about that last week. <laughs> um, this Barry Allen. Look like garbage. He shouldn't be that muscly. First of all, runners are never that muscly. Anyways, we're not talking about Jim Lee's. The cover was cover. spun by Brian Hitch and Jason Wright. Yeah, you guys suck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Not, <laughs> wow. Good at A for effort, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, D for um, execution. For art, yeah. um, I appreciate you guys. I mean. It's absolutely a better cover than I could ever draw, so I obviously don't mean Yeah, wait, wait, that. how is how is that happening? That's what I'm saying, is it, it atomically doesn't make any sense. It, it, I mean, it kind of, if you stare at it long enough, no, you I can see at... a unicorn. Right. Why does Superman right. have Joe Biden's face, and why is he Joe biden Wonder <laughs> Woman? Oh That's terrible. He's That's got both terrible. his hands on her. I can't Leave. believe I cannot. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a you bite problem. into that whole thing. Oh. It's a creepy Uncle Joe. One percent. Um. So my my pick of the week was Unkillable. <laughs> number two. Yeah. Um, Pizza Peachy's time. gone all. Um. Emo Spider Man. Emo Spider Man three. No, he's dancing. It's unfortunate. Oh God. <laughs> um. This was a really good book. I freaked out about it. Deceased? Yes, deceased number two. Is that your pick of the week? Okay. You don't know yet? Deceased unkillables. Okay. Well, you're going to have to pick a different book unless you want to do all of your books right now. Uh, It's not my pick of the week. Okay. Not your pick of the week. Okay. It was a really good book. It was. Um, Stuff went down. Mirror Master died. 
<laughs> like a lot of people. A lot of people died. Mostly Mirror Master. Wonder Woman's a zombie. Captain Cold's probably dead too. Bane's dead. Um, Captain Cold bit. Is that who bit him? Yeah, Mirror I Master. thought it was Wonder Woman. No, she was standing in the distance watching it. Mm, that explains a lot. Yep, that's what happened. Good job. <laughs> paying attention. That's the one time she usually goes and says, no, no, that happened. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was reading it really fast because it was there was a lot happening. But, it's um, It was a lot of, like, stuff to get. Yeah. But. Um, but, yeah, it was so good. The art's good, but the story is so much better. The, like, the art's not bad, It's but it's the story that's, like... What do you think of that end? Um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's gonna die. Okay, I want to talk about really quick the fact that Jason Todd was like, oh, I know that kid. I know that kid. That's the, His name was Billy Batson. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. Everyone's gonna die. Oh, God. And then nothing happened. <laughs> Just nothing happened. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't have thought that he would have gotten out of there by that time. Right, yeah. which, I mean, but he can't talk, because yeah. he's a zombie. Yeah. So he can't say the, the magic word yeah. of Shazam. Mm-hmm. So he can't turn into Shazam, which is fine, because now he's dead, and he's no longer a threat to anyone. But, Poor Billy. But Billy, Billy is dead. But, yeah, the, the bad guys from the last issue teamed up with the quote-unquote good guys from this issue, and, um... They're training kids how to kill, and Bane takes off his mask, which I thought was crazy. Yeah, that one, like, I, I like that that kid, like, was all like, really? Yeah. You, you, I can't understand you, you were muffled. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then he took off, he like, I was like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> so that was, that's, yeah. It was, it was a good book. I enjoyed it a lot. Bambi got the entire, what of what everything that happened. I couldn't remember Vandal Savage's name <laughs> while I was telling Bambi, so That's he okay. was called Dude Bro for the majority of my story. <laughs> dude, 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 no, dude Bro <laughs> ripped. That's what I can only remember. Um, he got ripped out of the book, so you're yeah, fine. Yeah, he's fine. That's awesome. Zombie Wonder Woman. Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me super really regret not picking up, like, all from of, the beginning. Yeah, all of yeah. deceased. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a lot of it. Like, it's it's jarring in a way, kind of like when you want to Not in a jarring kind of way? No, That's unfortunately. That's fun. Um, when you see, like, Marvel zombies, Spider-Man eating Mary Jane, Aunt May, and like, yeah. like, like that whole situation, you kind of get that. But it's been kind of magnified a little bit more because yeah. you're getting it all over the DC universe. And DC's always been the darker universe. So. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it's not even like the... I know that it's actual zombies in Marvel, but these aren't zombies. They're just trying to spread the infection as much as they can. They're not trying to eat or anything. It's got an ma- active mind to it. Yeah. Like it's, it it's kind of feels like the flood. Spread. Yes. I'm feeling the flood vibes. Huh. Oh man, Halo Infinite. <laughs> Holiday 2020. <laughs> <laughs> PS5 who? Exactly. Um, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's a good book, though. It's, it's the best. I, so, it's, one more. I th- yeah, there's only three issues. Oh, really? So oh, yeah, that's right. It's all going to come to come to a quick end in two. the next book. And then Deceased 2, um, Dead World, which hopefully is as good, if not better. I heard which that. Which I doubt. But I heard that, uh, that upcoming Three Jokers might be a three book. Also, three yeah. book mini. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, what you got? What do you have for us today, Sudan? I have books, lots, have lots of books. He had um, Unkillables and uh, Justice League and Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep, part of that. Right. That's it. Not versus. So yeah, continuing. We just, we did yeah. have deceased too. I, my question to you was actually, what do you think of the little romance at the end there? Eh. J- Jason Todd eh. and Rose Wilson. Huh. Eh. Okay. It's, they're, it's Jason Todd is going to ruin every relationship that he's in. So I always anticipate him not 
being in a relationship for long, so I, I really just but don't she think can about see it. ahead. Yeah, not that far ahead. And she, she, the second he does something stupid, she's gonna be like, "Oh, okay, this is what's happening." Bye. Um, for if this, they live long enough, right? <laughs> After what happened there, uh, my best, I think I, I did rate this a nine point five. Uh, with a Jaro kicker of wow. down to a 9 mm-hmm. out of nice. 10. Um, best parts, honestly, for me were the coming to understanding between Gordon and Deathstroke Slade, there. Yeah. Um, that was cool. And yes. Deathstroke going, so you're the leader. Yeah. Basically, so if you're not the leader, Bane's going to be the leader, and I don't like that. So, <laughs> Which is that, that, that the fact that you've seen villains and heroes yeah Yeah, that was cool (laughs) oh yeah no i forgot about the entire mirror master thing again i said it at the beginning and then i didn't touch on it again but yeah mirror master mirror master this gangly little dude taking out that massive guy yeah you just one bite man one bite bye bane um, and so, Master, like, oh god, yeah, this is a good continue, book. Please. It sounds like a good book. And we're, we're looking forward to what's going on in the next one because Wonder Woman rips. Yeah, she ripped Vandal Savage in half. Oh, nice. Yeah. I um, thought he was like unkillable or something. Oh, when you get ripped in half, it's kind of hard he to come back. He also died from in the main universe too in Justice League. Oh, Lex Luthor killed him. Oh, uh, I did not remember that. Happened like forever ago. Next one I had was also Justice League number forty three. Now this cover is awful. <laughs> um, the other cover wasn't that much better either. I didn't see the other cover. I, I this I don't remember who was doing it, but it was still one of those like, why is that character here? He's not around. Right. Kind of situations. Uh-huh. Um, Aquaman. The best <laughs> part of this was when Wonder Woman ripped Eradicator apart. <laughs> <laughs> This, like, stupid robot won't get in the way of us keeping our planet safe. (laughs) You're a stupid robot. I'm not like these guys. (laughs) So Wonder Woman just tears people apart this week. Um, This one got a 7.5. It was a bet better. And the fact that it got over a 7 means I'm actually keeping this series because... I'm curious what's happening next. But that with the gyro kick down... tell me. 7 of 10. Um... I'm just hoping that they do something because I'm curious what that overshadow or that foreshadowing had been. Yeah. Um, next book that I read was Middle West number sixteen. Yes. Continued writing by Scotty Young, um, and art by Jorge. It's Corona time. Corona. <laughs> um, Sorry. colors by Jean Francois Bouillou, and I got the cover that was done by. Jorge, it's Corona time. It's Corona time. Um, good book, great book. Um, all, all story coming to a head. You know, liberation of the children and slavery, and also as the his, storm is coming. Okay, I'm like, has his father caught up yet? Or? No, it's it's getting pretty. Like everything is coming to a head. Like the. Liberators are, had just arrived. The kids were planning their own coup. Guy was in like aware of everything, and he's like, "Ah, ha, ha, ready for you." But it's it's like kind of the big showdown is ready to happen in the next book. I have a feeling this book is going to end here pretty soon. What issue was it? Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, but Probably that one got a 20. nine out of ten. Oh, on this nice. one. Some really big scores this week. Why it was so hard to choose? Now, next book I read was uh, Star Wars. I had that with PG, right? Yes, sir. Number numero cuatro. Uh, Trope. Only two more uh, issues until Luke's yellow lightsaber. Nice. <laughs> but it's a countdown. <laughs> um, I'm curious who this female is that he's seeking out. Um, right. I I will fully admit, even though the silhouette doesn't show it, I'm hoping it's Ahsoka. Because who better to teach him than who taught Ezra? Who better than... Oh, God, better. That, that was bad. But, honestly, that would make sense. What you're saying is you want Luke to be better than Ezra. I want him to be That's... Ah, um, That's she good. exists at the same time. There's no reason... She's part of the Rebellion. There's no reason why she couldn't train him. I, 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 I'd like to see her become a part of this franchise and you know, teach the Skywalker a little bit. And him going to Yoda and learning. For so, sure. She... 
did show those younglings how to get their lightsaber crystals. Maybe he may meet it, and maybe he'll meet David Tennant Robot too. Um, I love David Tennant Robot. I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I do, I don't know who it is. I had you know I flashed to a couple thoughts. I kind of couple had a couple minuscule hopes. Maybe you know Mara Jade something, but she, I mean, she wasn't exactly Force-sensitive. She was a hand of the sit, the, the Emperor. Her I don't, I don't remember. Oh, that said it is so weird. Maybe yeah. it's up in the air. It could be just about anybody. I mean, they did say at the end of the Clone Wars there was about a hundred Jedi that survived, so. Huh. Who knows who they could be. But yeah, that book, uh, um, Charles Scholl, writer, uh, Jesus Siez, uh, is the artist, Arif Prianto, it's colorist, and I got the cover of the R.B. Silva. There was more names on there, but I didn't want to write the them down. Huh? I don't know Spanish? No, I said he has the meats. Because okay. his name is Arby's. Arby's, ah. He got oh the like, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know names. Uh, that got an 8 out of 10 for me. Oh, nice. Um. Okay, so here comes the hard part. I had two addition, additional books in, the, in this week. Um, one of them happened to be Mighty Morphin Power Rangers meets Ninja Turtles, not Versus. I, yeah, I said that after I finished saying it. I like, know. it's not Versus. It is. Uh, number four. Uh, writing by Ryan Perot. Um, Walter Biamonte and Gore. Monty are the colorist and or somebody. I have colorist twice on my sheet here. <laughs> Simone Di Mio is um the colorist I think, and Goni Montez is oh it isn't okay okay Goni Montez did the covers, which were all the individual Ninja Turtles holding the Pink Ranger helmet. Um, so Joe was curious about that. Why the Pink Ranger helmet? The last month was the Blue Ranger. Oh. oh, they're doing one of each one every month. So. Okay. okay. And I'm like, the Pink Ranger happened to be this month, which is cool. Okay. Um, story was really awesome. Continuing this, like, what's going on? We got to see the the turtles morph. Oh. The turtles morph awesome. into the Rangers. The Rangers also kind of got a lesson from Splinter, which was kind of freaking cool. And he kind of like they dressed up all ninja. Go all we're ninja rangers, which is what they end up getting power wise next. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then they the turtles talking about how they they changed the power rangers weapons to fit their so like when they got their powers like Leonardo had two weapon two swords but they were two power swords huh. and there was a lot of like Raphael is the red ranger. So, Obviously. yeah, and there he's like, "Why do I? I don't know how to drive the Megazord. Why, I, I can't drive this thing. Why, Leo? You do it. You, Leo's like, you the one that wanted to be red. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Michelangelo had like nunchucks, like side or something like daggers on the end oh. of nunchucks, and it was cool. Like it was really cool how they did it, and the Rangers looked really awesome. They invade the Technodrome, and it ends with Bebop and Rocksteady being made big into monster size for destroying New York City. Nice. So, uh, and the Technodrome b- bursting out of Central Park. So I'm I like, see a monster fight coming. Yeah, and this <laughs> last scene is them coming up with the Rangers, and I'm like, okay, this will be interesting. So, um, but that one got a nine point five out of ten for me nice. um, which is why this makes it so hard because Euro the villain Hell Risen number four the last one the last one in the Hell Arisen and the continuing story from the Justice League story we've been loving so much um, rating by James Tinian the fourth follow him get his stuff yeah, Ooze. yeah. I, he makes wonderful bread loaves on Instagram <laughs> They're his babies. <laughs> I'm just like, we need to follow his writing, because uh, that's apparently okay. where the good stuff is happening right now. Wait, but he's the writer for Justice League Tart. <laughs> I, I can't explain it, but yeah. Um, art by Steve. Oh, Steve. Yeah, Ep- Steve. Steve Epting. Oh, oh okay. That's uh, I was like, does that it say eating, yeah, peating? I can't read my handwriting. Uh, coloring by Nick Filardi, um, oh, nice. and covering cover art was um, Ricardo Federici. 
It was, it was really good. It was a really good cover. Yeah, because it's got your stupid boy Both of them. standing on top of the other stupid boy. Two, yeah. two stupid boys. Yeah. Um, stupid boys. Too bad the other stupid boy didn't want to join. Are you buying this? No. Okay. So, f- Luke, Lex has been sent on a mission. <laughs> Luke? <laughs> Luke? Luke is going to Metropolis to find his lightsaber. Wait, what? Um, this whole s- little four-issue series has been about Lex in confronting the Batman who laughs, who's pretty much an affront to Perpetua, um, who Lex has been working so hard to bring into creation. Um, that was the uh, source wall creature. Yeah, she's the one that created everything. Okay. Yeah. They made the source wall to stop her. So okay. it's, um, her powers, you know, do nothing to him because he's from the other universe. And, yeah. of course, he's empowered his universe into all the superheroes were, that were in the Hall of Justice. Yeah. And, of course, all of his infected, Gordon, Supergirl, Scarab, all these characters, Donna Troy. Um, Blue Beetle. So the whole thing has pretty much been leading up to Lex, like, trying to figure out how to best... Bruce, and he kind of comes, he, I was telling Ooze this earlier, was, he John Jones it up a notch, Big monologuing, boy. monologuing villain style, talking about how in the New 52 he was a hero, and mm-hmm. he saved the world, but for some weird cosmic shift between Rebirth, and that caused him back to being the villain again, and all that, you know, the, the people that they stopped are back on their Earth non-stop. You know? Right. So he's like, everything is a joke. That's why he went down this path and he talks about all that stuff. And, oh, Lex. Um, it's funny is he demasks Batman who laughs in a big battle and actually depowers Batman who laughs yeah, in all of the perfected. That's how he gets his dark powers is the, the, the visor, spiky thing. The spiky visor? Well, here's because the thing. In she head loses visor. it, gets it back on. But by that time, Lex was already like, oh yeah, here's a cure. Stabs Batman who laughs and gets rid of all the infected. Oh. Or it was like, why am I here? Everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? Lex! You! Let's take both these villains so everybody basically turns on Lex and Batman who laughs. Who Lex is like, it's okay, we're out of here. Takes Batman who laughs to Perpetua. Huh. Offers him up, who then... <sighs> Batman laughs, who goes, this is a joke. She's been playing you, Lex. Tells him so the truth. I. And Perpetua basically um, fucks Lex up pretty bad. Um, shoots him out into some portal, disappears, so he's gone. And he's kind of like, we're screwed. Lex is depowered. <laughs> Batman, who laughs, is like, so let's strike a deal. I know what to do with Perpetua. Perpetua's like, okay, partner. Next issues Death Metal. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Leads directly into death metal. Are you, and you, are you guys going to be both picking that one up? Yeah, I'm like, We're this on... is why I was like, you need to be fighting. Guys, <laughs> it's on the whole slot list already. <laughs> but this, uh... this book got a 9.5. Yeah, with damn. With a no jarro kicker. So, it's 9. So I, But it still was a really awesome book. So, honestly, I can't decide what my book of my book of the week is right. It's a it, like it was. A lot of these books were seriously satisfying, and it was hard to make this decision. But now you know. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. I'm just like, I, I I saw this happening. I was like, no, Lex, no, no, Lex, you did. It. Poor, it's not his fault. He's just trying to do the best that he can. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, they did legs. mention that the heroes are on their way to stop her, but, yeah. Okay. Batman who last knows how to stop them, apparently. I'm like, oh, this will be interesting. So I'm curious. now, But he's depowered. Yeah, old legs has run his last now race. Now he just has his brain, which is what he should have used in the first place. Right. But, God. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, this is the... Definitely got a lot of stuff coming to a head, so, like, why couldn't this happen in Justice League? Right. Yeah, I don't get what... Well, I remember us talking Mm. that Snyder only had a limited run on it. Right. And it was 39 issues. And I think we forgot about that (laughs) at some point. And we just 
we're like, wait, no, it's 39 issues. What's going to happen in issue 40? And then nothing happens. It just seems like a weird slide of, here's this really enticing story that you guys have been following continuously, right. and it's over here. And I mean, I, more often than not, though, it sucks when, or no, I, what I really hate, though, is, is when they change the writer on you, story changes a completely different style, and you stick with the book anyway, hoping that they change to a different, back to the other writer, or to a better Anything writer, else? and it just never, yeah. and you're like, why am I getting this? Yeah. Deadpool. No, oh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that that's a, That's a, no. Um, actually. So, yeah. That's terrible. Peachy, what books did you have this week? <laughs> uh, this week I had Deadpool number four. De- Deadpool number four uh, was written by Kelly Thompson. Woo. And the inside and cover art was done by Chris Bacalo. Or Bacalo. Bacalo? Bacalao. Bacalalo. Bacalco. Meh. Meh. Uh, this, I, it was actually really good. Um, I was not disappointed. I, I, if you watched, uh, the, that, uh, that day's, the 11th, or the 18th, excuse me, uh, video, haul video, I wasn't too happy about getting that book. I'm like, I'm not sure why I'm still getting it. And, you know, I'm just trying to stick with it and hope it gets better. It's kind of good. And this one got an eight from me. Oh. The, the, it was really good. It had a, a real classic Deadpool kind of feel. There's, I'm kind of interested with where the story's going. I like the way they wrapped up where they were going before, you know, where, where the story was going before, but kind of left it. Uh, it seemed, you know nice, tidy, clean bow, and Deadpool learned a lesson, and he's gonna go and try to be the best Deadpool that Deadpool can be, you know, kind of thing, whatever. Right. But there was the, uh, underlying cliffhanger that was like, oh, this wasn't so neat and tidy kind of thing, and, um, that's kind of what I liked about Scotty Young's run, was the underlying feeling that something something was gonna happen. Yeah, something's around the bend, something's coming. Um, so that I, I dug it. That got an eight for me. That was, uh, I was between that and another book for my pick of the week. But I also had Excalibur number nine. That was written by Teeny Howard, featuring art by Marcus Two and a cover by Mahmoud A. Azrar. Yeah, two T O. Um, Excalibur nine got a six point five for me. Um, that's Excalibur. not an excellent Excalibur score. Yeah, Excalibur seems to be your lowest ranked of all of the X Men books so far. That's I, fair there to say. Are other X Men books that you picked up to today? Cut that one down. Um, no, I'm going to keep it. There's stuff that's ha- happening. Uh, it's just out of everything that's going on with, through through the different books. It's kind of hard to keep track of. Not to say the least interesting one, but the least. Um, the one where the packed. yeah the least action packed one and whatever where it's kind of limboy, you know. Um, really, John Jones, you. <laughs> but, yeah, it. but it was it was decent. I got I, I was in between a six point five and a seven on that one. Um, I gave it a six point five. Uh, I did. Uh, I had X Force number nine, uh, written by Benjamin Percy, uh, featuring story and cover art by. Joshua Castara. Um, that got a seven from me. X Force number nine is usually my my pick for the week. Um, it's usually more just visceral. Just X Force number nine. Not or, any of no, the just other X Force. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, X Force. <laughs> the one that just came out today. Yeah, just this book is usually my pick. <laughs> Today's book, just this one book, is the book Last I week usually pick every week. Number four. <laughs> number nine. Number nine. Yeah. yeah uh, Usually, it's, you know, it's usually more visceral, and the story is more, you know, straight to the punch, and you get to see where straight where it's going. This one was a little bit slow, although it was still good. Um, it wasn't my my favorite of the series so far. I gave it a seven. Oh. But my pick for the week was Star Wars number four. Wow. Um, Sweet. Again, written by Charles Soule, story art by Jesus Sayes. And cover by R.B. Silva is what the information I had. Mm, fresh. 
Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> I gave it an 8.5. It felt very, very Star Warsy to me. I, I could see it on screen, you know, pl- while it played out in the book. Um, it, the art definitely doesn't hurt that because they, they've got great, great art going on in these books. Um, but, you know, him, like, like, uh, Sudan had mentioned him going back to, uh, Cloud City, not, not Gotham City, but Cloud City to, uh, try to find his life save. You did, or you said Metropolis. Yeah, no, because he, no, in, uh, he was talking about Justice League. I think Something about, I was making would, a joke about Metropolis. Yeah. He was saying Justice League, and he started to say, oh, no, he was talking about uh, Hell of Risen, and he started to say Luke instead of Lex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what and Yeah, Luke Skywalker went back to Metropolis to find his light team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah freaking, uh, I, I dug that part of the story, you know. Um, and, of course, yeah, he's searching, searching, can't find it, asks the garbage pickers around. They haven't seen anything, and, of course... The second he leaves, one of them finds it, and we don't know if we'll ever see the the journey from there to uh, episode seven when it resurfaces. But um, this is where we'll see Luke, you know, create his his new lightsaber in, or coming up to. Um, the story was really good in that that it felt like uh, the end of uh, episode four, kind of where. Or not the, the the beginning of excuse me the beginning of Empire when uh, Luke breaks off to go to Dagba, go back to Dagba or whatever. My thing, I I, I wanted to mention this and I I, I like this is they kind of cleared up a question that I didn't know I needed answered is how the f- did he get Red Five back? Right. <laughs> like after they left Cloud City, think about this: they left on the Millennium Falcon. He mm-hmm. landed with the Red Five. And then, in Jedi, he has his Red Five back. It happens. Like, I never it thought... It was in of... the cold? Like the Falcon, maybe? No, no, he, it was on... He wouldn't fit in the Falcon. No, it was on... It was on Cloud, at Cloud City. It was in Gotham City over there. Oh, wow. Um, like, they, they had uh, impounded by the Empire. I didn't even think about it. Like, when he... Because he landed there to go and save them. Yeah. From Dagobah. That was, like... Whoa! I didn't even think about that. You yeah, know? Like, like, yeah. Whoa! They put a lot of thought into this yeah. stuff, and it connects really well to the existing story. So I'm glad you convinced me. You and between you and uh, the nephew over there convinced me to pick this one up, and I'm glad I did. It's, it's turning out to be pretty good. Yeah, I'm really I'm surprised. I mean, Star Wars in the comics has just been the Disney knows what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Go away, haters. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's that's my books and my pick for this week. I mean, keep listening and subscribe and share and everything. You yeah. Know, but go away. Yes. Don't <laughs> talk. <laughs> well, that's great. I yeah. love Star Wars. Oh, show. Awesome books, man. Yeah, hell yeah. They were really Span. good books. I mean, I haven't had any nines uh, in a couple weeks, but I, I thought they were pretty good books this week. Anyway, you guys, you guys, you guys. What books do we have? What books do you have next week? Man, I have at least one book. Mm -hmm. Uh, Angel and Spike number 10. I almost said Spike and Angel number 10 because that's how I have it written down. (laughs) Um, But, yeah. Uh, Spike, <laughs> Angel and Spike number 10. I also have uh, Flash number 752 and Red Hood Outlaw number 44. I'm going to assume that Flash is going to be my pick of the week. Now that I'm actually reading it, it's really good. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Sudan. I have, um, hope to have caught up Action Comics, but I've been working hard on that. Just work's been really weird. Um, I'll have Amazing Spider-Man, uh, number 42. Yes, sir. PG. Uh, Spike and Angel, number 10 over there. Spike and Angel. Um, I'm wondering if they start doing the, the, um, Kevin Wada, isn't it the Wada covers? That yeah. That he was doing the, with, um. The spotlight covers? Gun and 
that'd be great, Warren but he, I, I, he posted a couple of things, but someone asked him if he was going to be doing Angel, Angel and Buffy covers, and he said, N- I have not been asked to do any more, oh, which is true. unfortunate. Oh, wow. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Get on that shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kevin, I love Kevin Walker. <laughs> Batman Superman gets the next installment. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with these dollar comics. A lot of Justice League coming out. Mm-hmm. But oh yeah, Justice League books. Are you picking up that books. giant size Nightcrawler? Is this I the am. second giant size? It is. Okay, because I think I'm gonna pick that up too, but not read it. Um, <laughs> Just like the rest of the X books that you've picked up. Well, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. I have DC's my... more important, apparently. Well, I have them physically. And I, those are digital. I can just like power through them in one day. Like that's easier. I can do it on the toilet. Um, by the way, digitals are really successful for that. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number forty nine. <laughs> <laughs> I had to zoom in. My pictures are terrible. That's gonna be fun. I got. God, there's so many books coming out. Bounty Hunters number two comes out next week. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm also getting that, yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah. Supergirl, yeah. Power, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Transformers vs. Terminator number one. I'm definitely picking that up. Um, done by IDW. Um, they know what they're doing when it comes to these franchises. And then I hope maybe X Men I'll catch up, but definitely I know my pick of the week is probably going to be Ghostbusters uh, year one. Oh Oh, yeah, I have Ghostbusters or or Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin, but there's a lot of strong hitters coming out next week that I'm like, oh yeah, come on, tips better be good. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Uh, What do you got, Peachy? Like you mentioned before, I share Amazing Spider-Man number forty-two with you. I will be picking up the giant-sized X-Men Nightcrawler number one. It's a heavy week for the Mm -hmm. X-Books. Hellions number one is out this uh, next week. Punisher Soviet number six is out, uh, which I may just, you know, catch up on that book. I I don't have it digitally, but I'll probably read those. Number six is the last in the series, so maybe I'll read those and see what that's about. Wolverine number two is out, X-Men number nine is out, and X-Men Fantastic Four number three is out. I did pick up number one and two, so I do have to play catch up on those. I'm but, over here doing cheerleading symbols like, look, they're like, X. <laughs> <laughs> two, three. <laughs> but yeah, a um, little bit of catch up on, on some titles for me, but... Uh, you shouldn't eat around your books. Dude, that's that's yeah. how you ruin them. The nope. ketchup, yeah. Mustard, ketchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't like mustard. You know what people should do is pick these comic books up at their local comic book stores and such, and look, support local businesses and support uh, these artists and writers that are doing awesome work on these books and putting out these stories for people Some like us that love them. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not those guys on Justice League. <laughs> hey, poor guys. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, do do the thing, guys. Uh, where's your s- s- local comic book store? If you don't know, go to comicbookstorelocator.com. Oh! Right. Yeah. Really, type in your area. Go to the place. Do the do the thing. Sorry, the Google Dot just tried to think that I was talking to it. Huh. Um, so, yeah, find your local comic book store, comicbookstorelocator.com. Not a paid sponsorship. We're not yeah. sponsored. No. But you can also check us out on all of the social medias. We got the Facebook, don't go there, um, <laughs> Instagram and Twitter are where we're responsible. We're, we're responsible on there. We are. We're more responsible. Exactly. No, we're more responsive on those locations, and we're actually more active on those. Yeah. So check us out. We got Peachy Keen seventy six. Yes, sir. I uh, got awesome arts. He just put up a really fun Deadpool one. That was, that was a lot of fun. How he did that. Um, I pictures. Then you got suit on segment on the YouTube's. Yes, sir. I'm currently in the middle of the. Uh, I'm in the losers round of the. The bracket that I help co-host. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, that's I, good. Good stuff from that other host over there, though, on your uh, or the other player over there on on your loss with the 
you know, rest in peace, suit on. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. Good, good, good community. But yeah, check us out on there. Yeah, uh, uh, Stapled Together Podcast is also another Staple good one. Stapled Together Pod on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. And, and on Twitter. Facebook. Or, yeah, not Facebook, the other one. Uh, Twitter. There's yeah. groups and stuff. I think I'm PGF Keen on, on Twitter. Maybe. Something like that, PGF Keen. Some PG Keen, PGF Keen, or something on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, just, just look for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'll find it. Yeah. We're there. We're on, uh, on all the... You're obviously listening to us on one of these platforms. But yes. We're on yeah, all I hope. Too. <laughs> yeah. Are you listening? Share Hello? us, like us, subscribe, oh, comment. Oh. I hope you're option. listening to it on a platform, not just in your head. Cause right. That's a bad time. Weird coming. Like status. It's new technology. Right. It's the future. Uh, shoot on. Do you have a quote to close us out with? Uh, I think I actually do what's going on. In oh, the world. yeah. Um, That's right. We're not going to be doing a quote. Yeah. The, we're, I think we forgo that and just kind of let everybody know it's 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 going to be okay. No. You know, it's really scary out there right now. Everybody's kind of freaking out. But we're, we'll be fine. We just stick together. Remember yeah. all of us, the five things. So wash your hands. Mm-hmm. Don't touch your face. Social distancing. Social uh, distancing. <laughs> Um, six feet. Yeah. Um, uh, what's the cleaning, disinfecting? Disinfect everything touched. consistently, and yeah. um, be socially aware. You know, don't don't set, spread things that are false information, but just help each other out. Stay away from old people. Yeah. Um, stay away from young people. Yeah, just stay away from people. Yeah. Just, just work it but out. But don't. If you, if you, <laughs> people with social anxiety, it's very easy to stay away yeah, from people. Sure. But people who are actually social beings, it, it, I'm, it's hard. Hashtag social distancing since 1976. 1996. Oh. <laughs> 1982. <laughs> Yours doesn't match with the, the rhythm, bro. Um, oh yeah, I saw Star Wars before you. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> no more did that matter. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, just take care of each other. Just it'll be fine. Yeah. Read these books. Stay inside. Yeah. Um, I know in a lot of places it's actually game. kind of beautiful outside yeah. and kind of enticing, but we'll get through this. This yeah. is just to make it so it doesn't get worse. In the words uh, of the demon Zakefron, we're all in this together. Yes. And if it fails, you just need to do one thing. And that is, Dormammu, I've come to bargain. They want death. I'm leaving. If someone has Corona, can you please? I'm just kidding. (laughs) Be nice to the people around you. Don't freak out. Yeah. If they're wearing masks, it's probably not that big of a deal. Just stay a good distance away, but don't, like, beat them up or stare awkwardly at them. Don't overbuy them. Yeah. You know, leave enough for others. Yeah. And Star Wars. Star Trek. There's lots of... There, there's so much content that you guys can catch up on. There's yeah, a lot to do. Sure. There's also 61 episodes of Credit... Or... <laughs> yes. <laughs> of Stable Together to listen to. Yes. Oh my god. What the heck did you... I don't know. I don't know. She's advertising. Yeah, there's even more critical role to listen to. So. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I completely cut out. But did you see the Night Vale's doing a marathon? No. Patreon sent it to us. They're like, oh, oh. Night Vale made your page for Corona stuff. That's nice. Yeah, that's I, I wanted to tell you because we hit yeah. our Patreon on it. I'm like, oh, by the way, we have a Patreon. Yeah. Help us. Yeah, yeah help us. We like improve the podcast. If you could help out, it do. Do you have a quote from us? Yeah. Do you have a quote from us? Yeah. Um. Damn it! I'm dying. Kill me. <laughs> you know what? No, no, no. There's the cookie. Uh, you know what you haven't said this week? Suit on. Oh yeah, Dormammu. <laughs>
I've come to mind. It's worse. It's not blasphemy. Yeah, it's... The quote is, it could... At least it's not the last week's thing. And then you said, Dormammu. Dormammu? I don't remember the quote. I've come to flood your mind. I've come to flood the peanuts? <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Who is the oh, yes. chief model no, maker? Twenty third. Who's the what? Who's the chief model maker? Oh, I I heard this word earlier today, and I do not remember what model maker in Star Wars. In Star Wars. I don't He's in DC. Lorne Peterson. Lorne. Of whom was Darth Vader speaking when he said he will join us or die? Chris Pratt's my Hello, hello, Chris Pratt is my The answer is hello. Luke Skywalker. Hello. Yes, hello. hello. Thanks, thanks for listening, guys. We'll have you Luther? listening next week. Sorry. Bye. Yeah. Is it Lex Luthor? Bye. Sorry. See you later. Bye. Ebola. 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 Hey, thanks for listening to our podcast. If you enjoyed this, connect with us on social media, and of course like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Music is brought to you by Kevin McLeod. Find more of his music by visiting incompetch.com or clicking on the link in the description. If you want to listen to more, find us on anchor.fm or website unstabletogetherpod.wixsite.com and pretty much anywhere you can find podcasts.